Welcome to our video on the best GPU for the Ryzen 5 5600G. In this video, we'll be discussing the top options for upgrading the graphics capabilities of your Ryzen 5 5600G build. As you know, the Ryzen 5600G has integrated graphics, which is equivalent to the NVIDIA GT 1030 in terms of performance. However, its integrated graphics may not be powerful enough for some users. So we'll explore the only GPUs which are better in performance and most importantly, not cost much. Links to all the discussed GPUs are in the description. You can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting our list with XFX RX 5700 XT Triple Dissipation 8GB GDDR6. The XFX RX 5700 XT is built for high performance and high resolution gameplay. Experience smooth gameplay performance at 1440p and 4K. With support for 8, you are ready for next gen displays. The AMD Radeon RX 5700 series GPUs are powered by the all new RDNA architecture and designed from the ground up for exceptional 1440p performance and exceptional power efficiency for high fidelity gaming. Equipped with the latest 8GB of GDDR6 high speed memory and PCI Express 4.0 support, delivering twice the bandwidth. The 5700 XT is built with style and dynamic cooling power in mind to yield lower temperatures and heightened performance that adapts to the intensity of the moment. The GPU is also equipped with dual BIOS, which means you can choose between high performance mode or lower fan noise for your desired gaming experience. Let's talk about performance. In terms of performance, everything checks out. While the core clock is at 1565, the game clock is what it usually plays at, and the boost clock, while advertised at 1750, often pushes over 1850. Temperatures are also very solid. The card stays at a cool 65, with the memory junction staying close to it. Another great aspect of this card is that XFATS has a wonderful overclocking-friendly warranty policy. As long as overclocking does not leave physical damage to the card or brick it, they will cover the card under their warranty. You can read more about their warranty on their website. Links are given below in the description. At number 2, it's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. The NVIDIA RTX 3060 brings a new level of performance to the mainstream market. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 delivers a huge improvement for 1080p gamers that just want solid performance without breaking the bank. Officially, the RTX 3060 launched with prices starting at just $329, which was mind-blowing. And as you know the fluctuation in GPU prices, if you can find this GPU at its original price of around $400, that will be an amazing deal. Like the rest of the NVIDIA RTX 3000 series graphics cards, the GeForce RTX 3060 is based on NVIDIA's new Ampere architecture. With the move from Turing to Ampere NVIDIA, brings more than just a higher product number to the table. The biggest change in Ampere is in the streaming multiprocessor's SM data path. Thanks to this massive difference in the number of shaders available to the RTX 3060, it is able to achieve double the performance of the GTX 1060 in many games. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 also comes equipped with 12GB of GDDR6 VRAM on a 192-bit bus. And, well, it's a bit odd that this graphics card has such a gargantuan amount of memory available to it. Throughout our testing, the RTX 3060 sits somewhere between 80 to 120% faster than the GTX 1060. And if you are thinking to add a GPU to your Ryzen 5 5600G rig, but at the same time you are not a hardcore gamer, this will be a good addition. At number 3, it's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. With the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, you don't have to break the bank to get access to next-gen graphics performance. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is based on the same Ampere architecture as the RTX 3080 and gives us a look at what the Ampere lineup will look like in the mid-range and budget segment of the GPU market. With this graphics card, you're getting 8GB of the same GDDR6 memory found in the RTX 3070, paired with 38 Ampere streaming multiprocessors. However, because of changes NVIDIA has made to its SM since Turing, each of these now has 128 CUDA cores, double that of the 64 in each Turing SM. That means there are now 48 64 CUDA cores in the RTX 3060 Ti, up from 2176 found in the RTX 2060 Super. Power consumption sees an increase over the RTX 2060 Super, but it's not as pronounced as other cards in the NVIDIA Ampere lineup. 
The total graphics power TGP is 200 watts for the RTX 3060 Ti, up from the 175 watts of the RTX 2060 Super. It's more, but it shouldn't be so much more that you'll need to worry about upgrading your power supply to accommodate, assuming you have a competent one in the first place, that is. Throughout most of the games, we tested the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti in. The graphics card showed its strength in 1440p gaming, with only Red Dead Redemption 2 and Total War. Three Kingdoms resulting in frame rates less than 60 FPS at max settings. And considering just how heavy those two games are, the RTX 3060 Ti scores of 55 apps and 59 FPS, respectively, are damn impressive. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti brings game-changing 1440p performance to the mid-range market and should remain a go-to 1440 card for quite a while, considering how both AMD and NVIDIA have set their sights on 4K as the new flagship battleground. Long story, short combination of Ryzen 5 5600G with RTX 3060 Ti will definitely boost your gaming and graphic performance. At number 4, it's AMD Radeon RX 6700 XD. The AMD Radeon RX 6700 XD is another excellent 1440p graphics card you can get for your Ryzen 5 5600G, bringing the RDNA 2 architecture to a slightly more affordable price. The AMD Radeon RX 6700 XD, like 2020's RX 6800 and RX 6900 series cards, is based on AMD's new RDNA 2 architecture, sometimes affectionately referred to as Big Navi. That means all the improvements that came in those other graphics cards are present here, as well like the greater power efficiency and, of course, ray tracing. On RDNA 2, ray tracing is accelerated by ray accelerators, one per compute unit. And because the AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT has 40 compute units, that naturally means there are 40 ray accelerators here. One of the biggest technologies it's pushing for this is SAM or Smart Access Memory. This essentially gives your CPU direct access to graphics memory, which significantly cuts down the pipeline for rendering scenes in-game. However, this isn't a feature that's enabled automatically, and isn't even something you can play around with in the Radeon software. In order to enable this feature, you have to go into your GUI OS and enable resizable bar support. The AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT also obviously supports AMD's ever-growing Fidelity of Excess suite of visual effects and performance enhancements. If you are looking for a GPU that improves your PC performance by enhancing the graphics and performing well at both 1080p and 1440p games, this is one of the best GPUs available in the market at a reasonable price. At number 5, it's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 and probably the best on the list. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 does for 4K gaming what the GeForce GTX 970 did for 1080 gaming back when it was released by bringing a whole new world of image quality to the mainstream PC gamer. And if you are looking for the absolute best performance on your Ryzen 5 5600 rig, you should consider 3070 on the top of the list. Nearly a decade ago, 1080p gaming at max settings and high frame rates was considered the domain of elite PC builds. But all of a sudden, the GTX 970 dropped and brought stunning full HD graphics to the best PC games to the everyday player, providing outstanding performance on games that are still considered graphically intensive, such as Batman, Arkham Knight, and The Witcher 3. With the GTX 970, you no longer had to break the bank or make compromises to get high-quality performance. Now the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 has done the same thing for 4K gaming. There are more powerful graphics cards in the RTX 3000 series line, such as the impressively powerful GeForce RTX 3080 or the RTX 3090, but the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 is still a mighty performer that almost goes head-to-head -head with the previous generation's flagship, the RTX 2080 Ti, without costing over $1,000 and that combination of affordable price and high performance makes it the best graphics card for those priced out of the elite tier RTX 3080 and RTX 3090. And with that, we come to the end of our review. I hope this video helps you to choose the right GPU for your Ryzen 5 5600G.